When first getting involved in Doghouse, I remember being asked the question, well, why would you want to do this? I, mean, I think it serves everyone that is a part of the Dickinson community. I mean, students can be involved without necessarily coming to meetings or doing trainings with us. Greater than that, it's this whole autistic um, community out there that they're really providing for. Currently, the two puppies we have, Loki and Regis, are going to serve two boys um, on the autism spectrum, and they will be their companions um, and service dogs. It's this real engaging process of it can't happen without people who want or have a passion for not necessarily dogs, but this whole giving back or being involved. What we're really trying to do is make a model for a project that is sustainable. So we're only really here for four years, and how do we make something that can continue and grow um, and continue to engage the community in a new way year after year? The greatest challenge is just balancing everything out. Living with them is not, they're done, we're done with them at 5.30 and we can go home. It's they're awake until 11.30 at night, and so we have a commitment until then. I mean, when people come up to the dogs and say, you totally made my day, I mean, this, that I was having a hard day and this totally changed things, and I hope that other people can share in that. And then also, just finally, when they go off to serve the kids, that's so rewarding for us. Good boy.